Welcome to Upton House. One of the finest collections of paintings in the National Trust. So this small landscape by the 17th century Dutch artist Jacob van Rousdale is one of the most popular works of art at Upton and in many ways it's not difficult to see why. What he captures here is a spontaneous moment in the weather in the Netherlands. So it's a bright and breezy day and the light has broken through the clouds to capture a cornfield in the distance and it shines out bright yellow against the cool blues, whites and greys of the sky. The ruined building in the foreground is the castle of Egmond and the cathedral in the far horizon belongs to the city of Alkmaar. For all the seeming spontaneity of this scene, it's actually a highly controlled work of art. So we can see the way that Rysdale has created this path of blue through the sky which leads the eye from the top left hand corner in this curve down to the castle and the cathedral, drawing the eye to the most important part of the picture. So to the Dutch, the fields around Alkmaar and the castle of Egmond had particular historical resonances. In the Dutch fight for independence from the Spanish Empire, they'd flooded these fields, which we see here, uh, bathed in golden light, and they ruined the castle of Egmond deliberately in order to repel the enemy forces. So what we have here is a scene of intense natural beauty but also an image of a struggle for independence and a triumph over adversity. The 17th century interior scene by the artist Gabriel Metzu is considered a prime example of what we know today as the Dutch Age of Golden Art. It takes its name, the duet, from the lady holding the musical score, whilst a gentleman tunes a lute in the background. Metzu excelled in being able to render a range of materials and fabrics with great accuracy. And what I love about this picture is it positively invites you to relish all of those um, materials and textiles. Though the chief emphasis of the picture is on the musical relationship between the man and woman, actually there are much less obvious meanings concealed within this picture. For example, the lute it would have been seen as a symbol of love um, or amorous activity. The lady has a foot, foot warmer under her skirts and this would have alluded to the warmth of passion. Um, and her scarlet shoes would have been seen as very flirtatious. At her feet, her small lapdog, um, which would have been a symbol of fidelity, barks and is obviously trying to give a warning to his mistress. We, the viewer, are left wondering what is the nature of this relationship and what will happen next. So this picture is a highlight of the Upton Collection and one of the most important masterpieces looked after by the National Trust. It's by the artist El Greco, who was a Greek artist who found great success working in 16th century Spain. The picture depicts the moment in Christ's story when he was about to be crucified and was disrobed by an angry mob. In the foreground, we can see a carpenter preparing the cross for the crucifixion and looking on are three women, including the Virgin Mary, in the centre there. Intense colours and exaggerated, almost contorted uh, poses give a spiritual charge to the picture. Christ's robe is red like the blood which is about to be shed on the cross. Especially moving is the depiction of Christ's ex expression as he looks up to heaven in the midst of his suffering. And I particularly love the way the clouds have parted as if representing the communication between heaven and earth at this moment. And what an extraordinary depiction of spiritual insight and human emotion this is. <laughs> 